in Word. Okay, this is Word 2010. If you're working with 2007, your ribbon's going to look similar to this. Um, you just click the Insert tab in the ribbon. You come over here to Symbol. And then you can just go to More Symbols. This again is going to bring up kind of our symbol browser. You can see I've already kind of recently used some of these symbols, but you're going to need to probably hunt through. You'll also notice that up here it gives you where you're looking at in terms of uh, the types of symbols. So if you memorize what you're actually looking for, then you can come and find it in here. Okay, so I'm going to start with currency symbols. and see if I can find anything. You'll notice that this is a little more tricky than what we had on the Mac, um, but you can still just kind of sort through it. This actually is similar to the advanced symbol um, finder on the Mac. Okay, So there's my degree. So if I double click it in here, it automatically inserts it, and I can put in my 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, And then I can scroll up and I can find my mu symbol. Okay, now if you really want to, you can also notice that down here they assign you shortcut keys that you can then type whenever you want to type these symbols. So one of the options you can have at your disposal is to actually utilize those shortcut keys um, if you so desire. And at the end of all of this, I'm actually going to show you, at least with degrees, a shortcut in case you can't remember how to do any of this that will probably make your life at least a little easier. So still scrolling to find my mu. And there it is. Double click it. It inserts it. And I can get my microliter. Now what I do want to do here is ensure that my font is consistent. I'm going to actually make it 12 and I'll make this 12. Close. Okay. So there's my microliters and here's my 40 degrees Celsius. Now with degrees, in the event that for some reason something crazy happens and you just can't find the symbol tab in the insert or you can't remember where to go to find it, all you really have to do to insert a degree sign is type a lowercase o highlight it, and then choose it as a superscript. And it works just as well. So that's it.